Let's go through an end-to-end -end continuous delivery process using Azure Pipelines, Azure App Services, and a Flask machine learning application. To start out with, uh, here is the interface for Azure DevOps organizations. I'm going to select this project that I've got set up here, Flask ML Deploy. Next, what I'll do is I'll look at this pipeline section, and you can see that I've recently run this application. And if I click on this link, this will get me back to GitHub. So you can see this is the application that I've got wired into this Azure Pipeline service. And also, if I go to Azure Cloud Shell, I can actually look at the name of this application, uh, which is right here. And if I uh, go ahead and open this up in a new tab, you can see that it's actually a running service. And it's also available via a Predict API. And I can look at that from this file, make predict Azure app. And you can see that I'm going to do a post operation using this script. So this is going to do this machine learning prediction. So I'm going to go ahead and run that, verify that the uh, service is serving traffic correctly. Great, that works. So we're really ready to go to make a change. So how do I do continuous delivery? How to make this change? Well, I can go to my Git repo here, go to the application, and because Azure Pipelines is hooked up automatically to listen for changes, I can easily make a small tweak and verify that it works. I'm gonna go down to here and where it says scikit-learn prediction home from Azure Pipelines. What I will say is, uh, continuous delivery. So I'll add an, ex an extra statement here. There we go. So now I've added that extra statement that will allow us to verify that it will trigger a deploy. That event, if we go back now to the pipeline and I select this service, we should see under pipelines that a new release has been triggered. And in fact, uh, it has. So it's listened to that new event and it's queued up. So I can actually just watch this if I select this and we can see it step by step go through and do the deploy. First, it'll build the application. Uh, once the build job is done, it usually takes a couple minutes, then it'll deploy the application. And then at that point, I can even look in the log files and find the file that'll verify that it was actually deployed correctly. Okay, it looks like things have deployed correctly. What I'm gonna do is look at this deploy web app change. And inside of here, I can look at each of the steps. Download artifact, use Python version. I'm gonna select this icon here. And if I go to the app service application URL, I can go ahead and select that. So I'll open up a new terminal. And let's see, our changes are actually reflected here. So this is very powerful. And maybe as a final step, what I would do is uh, go into uh, maybe the cloud shell environment and, and do a, a final modification. But in a nutshell, we've been able to do end-to-end -end continuous delivery and make the change using Azure Pipelines.